Having traveled all the way from sunny California, Nick and Elena are on the Greek island of Evia looking to purchase a dream vacation villa. I like the kids to have the Greek tradition. I like them to be able to come back to Greece, uh, bring their friends, have fun. Nick and Elena have fallen in love with the city of Edipsos, located in the northern part of the island. California is beautiful. It has a great weather, but nothing like uh, Greece. Will their desire to hold on to their Greek tradition result in them finding their dream home? We gotta make a decision now. We need to decide which one of the two. Welcome to another episode of Hellenic Home Hunting, the exclusive television show dedicated to promoting the beautiful Greek real estate market to the world. In this episode, we will be featuring a married couple hunting for a dream property investment in Greece. Nick, a Greek American, along with his wife Elena, a Mexican American, will be looking for a luxury villa on the island of Evia. Hola, I am Elena Guntanis. I'm Nick Guntanis. We have two kids. Uh, a, a girl, 28 years old, and a son, 26. They also work in the family business. Our daughter went to school, and she's now a psychologist. But she comes back to the restaurant business because it's a Greek thing to do, I guess, in California. Nick and Elena both live in sunny California, a couple hours south from the cosmopolitan city of Los Angeles. We've been married for 29 years, and we've been coming to Greece uh, for summers. I went to a Greek place, and I met my husband. He was doing sabekika like nobody else I have ever seen to this day, and this is the truth. And um, so I fell in love with a Greek, a Greek god. Nick's grandfather immigrated to California for a better life in the early 1900s, igniting Nick's desire to follow in his steps. And I hear a lot of stories, especially from my grandfather, how beautiful it was, how great it was uh, San Francisco as a city. And I always had the urge to, to visit California. So I did 1979, and uh, here I am, 33 years. Being a family with Greek, Mexican, and American ties, Nick and Elena work hard to maintain the Greek culture in their home. California is beautiful. It has a great weather, but nothing like uh, Greece. Nothing like go down to your town and uh, have a, coffee, a cup of coffee, a frappe, talk with your friends, mostly politics, uh, stop at Peripto to get your newspaper, and so on. Greeks are very passionate people. Opinionated uh, to my I shall say. And, and very opinionated. <laughs> the politics thing is just, it's gotta go because he talks and talks about politics like, oh well, my God. Uh, politics is uh, in our blood. It's in our, your blood, I know. The Greek country is not known for their pastries. Their pastries are one of the best in the world. I've been to many places in the world, but this is like the best. Their cookies, their melomacarona, their, they're not known, people don't know this. I consider myself lucky because it's not that my wife it was impressed with Greece. She also learned the Greek language and she does very well. She <laughs> loves, uh, yes, you do. She actually has, she was inspired to come out with a cooking book and that was because of the Greek uh, cuisine. Loving the Greek culture and cuisine so much, Elena recently published her own cookbook targeting the younger generation with simplified Greek cuisine recipes. She does very good. She actually cooks excellent Greek food. That's a compliment, maybe. Thank yes, you. Yes, she, do she does very good. <laughs> Hellenic home hunting followed this couple to the beautiful island of Evia, located just 125 miles from Athens. Nick and Elena have fallen in love with the city of Edipsos, located in the northern part of the island. It is very close to the mainland, 
It's close enough that we can come here very fast from Athens. Elipsos has been a popular destination for thousands of years, attracting tourists to its healing mineral baths. With over 80 individual springs and water temperatures ranging from 26 to 86 degrees Celsius, tourists from around the world flock here. I've been uh, to Evia many times. I have uh, friends here which I visit and we always have great time. Uh, but I really like, you know, to ha have a place, you know, close to the ocean. Nick feels at home in Evia, being able to interact with the locals, visit the local barber shop for a shave, and catching up on the latest Greek news. You walk down the cafeterias and the little restaurants by the, by the sidewalk. It's a great feeling. Being disconnected to the Greek real estate market while living in California, Nick and Elena turned to their children to help them with their villa search using dedicated resources on the internet. We have been coming here so often to the island of Evia that I told my husband, you know what, why not get a house over there? So when our friends come over in the summertime, we can all meet over here and have a great time. While we were looking at the internet for our properties, we told the kids that uh, we're planning on buying a, a house in uh, Greece, in the island of Evia. They got excited, so they started looking and searching. And I think it's a great idea because I like the kids to have the Greek tradition. I like them to be able to come back to Greece, uh, bring their friends, have fun. Well, they found the, um, the Greek property exchange.com, and this is how we decided to start searching. We've been told by other people that uh, it, it's very helpful and they can help you find property in Greece. When you live in a different country for so many years, uh, you do need help in Greece. You need the help, you know, to find the right property, to deal with um, uh, laws and uh, the requirements, you know, they are different here. They're than, different. Yes, than they are back in the States. Working hard in the family restaurant business back at home, Nick and Elena are looking to invest in a luxurious property so they can enjoy their summers with their families and friends in Greece. Ideally, the house we're looking for is to have four bedrooms, three baths, of course, ocean view. A great kitchen, so we can cook for our friends, entertain. The bathrooms are a must, especially in the master bedroom. Hopefully with, um, with American showers. I don't know if they can find them here yeah, or not, but can, you know, uh, I, I want to have that too. We also would like, would like a swimming pool. What is our budget, CFO? Our, our budget is uh, Come on now. A, million, a million euros maximum. After communicating over the last several months via email and telephone, Nick and Elena are meeting their professional real estate agent. Hi, Hi Hello, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. Welcome. Finally, we have to meet you. We meet each other, yeah. Actually, yeah. After nice such a long time. <laughs> we're so happy to finally yeah, meet you. So we finally we, meet. So much email, so much phone yeah. calls, and finally we're here. Yeah, I found uh, three beautiful uh, villas. I think you will love all of them. We're going to invest a good chunk of money. Mm -hmm. How sound, how safe the investment is. I think the things are not so bad as uh, news who want to show to the Make people. It it's more like psychological war here in Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, our area here has not been developed yet. So the properties we sell are unique and uh, the prices are not really going uh, down. Either they're steady or in the future, when the economy will go better, uh, you won't lose your money because it will uh, worth more than actually they are selling the owners now. So tell me, who, what are the foreigners buy in Evia? We love it here, but we want to know who else is buying. Yeah, well, we have foreigners a lot from uh, Germany, England, some friends. Wow. And uh, the last two years, we have Russians uh, coming here buying properties, so it's building houses. It's happening, yeah. That's great, that's great. And lately, Evia is becoming more famous to countries abroad. With many foreigners investing in the region, Elena seems to feel more confident. I know that you're coming from California and that you have uh, wine resorts there. I have a small surprise for you. I think oh, that you will really love it. We love surprises. Oh, okay. Don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> this house hunting experience will be taking them to the northern part of Evia to view three villas in the seaside towns known as Elipsos, Kanatadika, and Kronia. So shall are we, we ready to we shall. go? Yeah, we are ready to go. Zoe and her home hunters are off to start their Hellenic home hunting experience. 
the team takes to the uphill streets of Evia to see their first impressive villa. The first villa sits high above the mountain with a view of the marina, just outside of Edipsos. Okay, here we are. That's uh, the amazing house I was talking to you about. How many bedrooms? It bedroom? has uh, five bedrooms plus one master. And the bathrooms? Six bedrooms in total. And the bathrooms are in total five. Great. There is a big uh, pool in front of the house, 100 square meters. It's uh, 1,700,000 euro. With six bedrooms, five bathrooms, a size of 300 square meters, and its own soccer field and pool, this villa has a price of 1,700,000 euros. With everything you could ask for in a villa, what did they think of the first house? Well, the view is fantastic. I mean, I look at this, Nico. Wow, the, the million is, dollar view. The view it is <laughs> or more. great. The house is beautiful. Yeah. It's, the huge. House. It's, huge. it's huge. It's huge, yeah. What is that up there? Uh, it's bigger than what it's we... It's a small uh, field, a football field. Talk and the it. pool is, is what kind of water it has? It's salted water. Is there an irrigation system here? Because I see the... the, the it's kind the of dry, dry. It's very dry. Yeah, no, that needs to be changed now. It needs work. Okay. It's completely dead. Yeah, it's completely <laughs> it's dead. dead. And I also like the bottom area. You can entertain easy, you know, 20, 30 people. Yeah. So, which For is our great. friends when they come over. friends yes. uh, from yes. California yeah. and yes. have a great yes. time. Great. Summer yeah. holidays, even winter holidays. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, one more question. When they sell a house here, is that sold as is with the furniture or no? Uh, a specific one is not uh, with the furniture. It is without the furniture. Without the furniture. Oh. One thing I did like it was the barbecue outside. Yeah. It's great. You know, I'm a cook, you know, so I own yeah, a restaurant. Yeah and I would like to... Uh, Make pancakes in the morning for uh, the guests. Well, if not pancakes, <laughs> really? you know, we can yeah. have some real... Some pancakes in the morning for the some guests. Some steaks, you know, and... Yeah. Uh, Maybe fish as well. You rest. can have a boat in the small port down there. Oh, that's Go great. fishing that's and true. then bring fresh fish and grill. And cook them on a grill. That sounds yeah. wow. good. Sounds, sounds like a good amazing. idea. After seeing the over-budget villa, the team heads 15 minutes across town to see what the second house has to offer. This newly constructed villa sits in front of the beach in the town of Canatadica, just five minutes from the port of Estea. Okay. This is a very well. modern home. Yeah, it's a very modern yeah. home. And it looks like that it's a brand new one nobody lived in. No, actually it was built in 2010. Oh, it's and very new. This yeah, is very new. Okay. it's uh, 250 square meters. I can see the I can see the beach from here. I noticed that it has two different entrances. Yeah, is that a reason correct. for that? Well, actually, at the moment, it's like two separate houses. One is uh, 130 square meters, and the other one is 120. Does in this one. house has a swimming pool? No, it doesn't, but you don't actually need a swimming pool because you pass the fence and you go swimming straight in the beach. And the price on this one? It's uh, 870,000 euros. With five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a size of 250 square meters, and a private walkway to the beach, this villa has a price of 870,000 euros.
see the view, it's gorgeous. Yeah, the But there's the two highest. homes in front of this one. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I didn't care for. It's actually three homes. Well, I like the idea that it's a brand new home. Uh, I like the idea that it's modern. And uh, I don't care at all for the spiral staircases. And it has two, yeah. And it might be a good idea to have them as two separate units. We can rent one, we can stay in uh, the other one. The other thing is that uh, you have your own way that leads you to the beach. I like the sound so of that, your own private way to the beach. I like yeah. that sound. <laughs> well, yeah, you also have the right, you know, of watching your neighbors in his, the backyards <laughs> or the front yard. See what whatever, they're doing. Whatever it is. <laughs> Will their own walkway to the beach be enough to overlook the three homes in front of their view? On their way to the third and final house, Zoe took the Californians for a surprise visit to the local winery across town. One of the finest wineries in the region. Oh my God, Zoe! Did you keep your promise. Wow. Yeah, I did yeah, keep my promise. This is a cherry nice. on the Sunday. Yeah, we even have a winery here in this beautiful island. Wow. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Nick and Elena seem to enjoy the local winery experience, but they still have another home to see. With a nerve-wracking drive down a steep, narrow road, they arrive to their third and final home. With panoramic views to mainland Greece and a large infinity pool, the final home will certainly impress the couple. Well, this is my lesson pattern. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Mrs. Nice to meet you. Elena, pleasure Mr. to meet you. Well, the house is it's in your standards, 300 square meters, uh, in a plot of 5,500 square meters. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms in the bedrooms. That's great. That's yeah. great. Swimming pool? Swimming pool, okay. 80 square meters, central heating, marble okay. floor heating. And Actually, in, uh, the price is within our price range. Yeah, correct? it's uh, 900,000 euro. Okay. okay that's it's good. in your standards. That's good. That's yeah. good. Okay. With four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a size of 300 square meters, and an incredible view, this villa has a price of 900,000 euros. It's a beautiful house. I'm impressed with the view, and of course I'm impressed, you know, with the garden, the yard, and the pool. Landscaping is very, very nice. Very nice yeah. landscaping. Yes. Uh, I'm kind of concerned about uh, the way uh, coming up coming the up, house and going down. It's actually scary. Mm -hmm. it's well, that's, uh, I think, the only negative of the house, but uh, we can work on it uh, with the owner by the time we make a deal of the house. Then the owner is willing to fix the street, the whole the area, whole, all the way up. Yeah, all the way up. By oh, wow. Okay. So there won't be any problem with the street. Okay. Well, I like the the all every bedroom has a bathroom. That yeah. was great. The master bedroom, though, however, the um, closet space was not very big. Mm -hmm. On the ground floor, there's enough uh, space. If you want to add uh, some uh, more uh, closets, mm -hmm. you can organize something there. Yeah. The stairs coming down, it has no rail. Yeah, I felt like a so little that, bit uneasy when I was coming yeah, down. That can scary. be a problem there. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, the small things. So it can be done uh, in a second. Uh, the one thing also, when you enter the house, yeah. I like open open floors, I told you before, open floor plans. There's a wall. If we knock that wall, you have a fantastic view of the whole thing mm -hmm. with glass. 
Can we do that? I think we can do that. Open you can get down. the sledgehammer and start knocking it down. <laughs> it is a beautiful house and I'm very impressed with the view. The view is to die for It's really probably is. the well, best before, views yes. I've seen. Yes, absolutely. Is the pool, do you know if the pool is uh, solar heated or, uh, or no? It's a solar heated, it yeah. Is? Okay. Mm -hmm. I did like the bathroom, the, ba the master bedroom, the master bathroom. bathroom. It's a yeah. real American standard. It's yeah. great. It's they're, big, they're good. very good size. Very all, nice all size. All of them, they're very good size. But this yes. one was bigger. Yes. I liked it a lot, yeah. Will the beautiful views and impressive landscape be enough to make them overlook the dangerous road? Nick and Elena are impressed with the three villas they have seen and what the beautiful island has to offer. Now they need to sit down with their property professionals to recap. I brought some partners of our office. Uh, we cooperate with lawyers and uh, civil engineers. Zoe brought two of her professional colleagues to help Nick and Elena with any questions they have. Estathios Papastathis is a Greek lawyer and Nikos Marulas is a Greek civil engineer, both working in Edipsos Evia. The house we saw, which is two homes side by side, what it requires to have the center wall not down, close the two doors and make one. All of them are going to be done with methodicity, but of course, we have to know what the capacity of each individual is. If we give us the capacities, we can make them more efficient. It's not quite difficult to make the changes inside the house. Uh, it depends what you have in mind and then with the right cooperation with the engineer. You can do all the changes you need by getting the right uh, permit license for these changes. How difficult would it be for, in this case, for the law to do those changes in your experience? Uh, from the perspective of the law, I believe that uh, it will take about seven or ten days. Oh, great, okay. How long it takes to have the papers transfer from the seller to the new owner and what it requires to do that, to transfer like the, the trust deed from one to the other. The first step is to do, for the lawyer to go to the mortgage uh, office, registry, to the mortgage registry office and check out the contracts of uh, the seller. If everything is okay, if there is no mortgage or uh, any seizure or any vindication for, no uh, for, for this property, then uh, you go on, uh, you go to a notary office uh, the contracts, uh, the notary writes uh, the contracts and then we go to the proper tax office and uh, the tax office uh, estimates the value of the property. Approximately what percentage a buyer has to pay is that based, uh, I'm sure, at the value of the house, but what's the percentage? Uh, approximately it's 10%. So about 10%. About 10% and uh, the other expenses are the notary's fee and the expenses for the mortgage registry office to deposit their, their contracts. We have to notice that it's not the, the amount of money, the value, the value of the house we buy. Uh, the taxes are the value the house has in the tax office. It's a difference there. What when a house is... A yeah. Okay. When a house costs 900,000 euro, we don't have to pay taxes 10% uh, of the 900,000 euro. Maybe in the tax uh, law, the cost of the house will be 500,000. So there is you a pay different taxes on the 500,000. Yeah. Oh, That's okay. the difference. Okay. Assuming that I'm buying a house which is worth half million euros. What's the expenses anticipate to pay on a top of the half million euros? Yes. The total amount you will pay with everything inside, taxes, notary's fee, uh, expenses for the mortgage uh, office, for the real estate, everything will be about 70,000 or 75,000 euros. 75,000. With the insightful information from the property professionals, Nick and Elena feel better equipped to make a purchase decision. Zoe, I really want to thank you, the lawyer and the architect. You did a fantastic job. Thank you very much. And thank you for bringing your team. Okay. And I so hope to, for us I to was make helpful a decision. to you to <laughs> think oh, and absolutely. decide uh, what Ab are you going to do. Absolutely. And we now have enough information, like you said, to make a, a good decision mm -hmm. to yeah. get our house. 
Having traveled all the way from sunny California, Nick and Elena are on the Greek island of Evia looking to purchase a dream vacation villa. I like the kids to have the Greek tradition. I like them to be able to come back to Greece, uh, bring their friends, have fun. Will their desire to hold on to their Greek tradition result in them finding their dream home? We gotta make a decision now. Well, that's the tough part. The first home has six bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a price of 1,700,000 euros. You can entertain easy, you know, 20, 30 people. While they love the view of the marina and the outdoor barbecue area, the price is way over their budget. I think it's a little bit uh, over, way over, I should say. Yeah, but than the price we have set. The second home has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a price of 870,000 euros. I like the sound so of that. Your own private way to the beach. Having direct access to the beach is a plus, but having three homes blocking their view is not ideal. You also have the right, you know, watching your neighbors in his <laughs> backyards or the front yards. See what whatever, they're doing. Whatever it is. The third home has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a price of 900,000 euros. I'm impressed with the view. And of course, I'm impressed, you know, with the garden, the yard, and the pool. While the views are the best they have seen, the drive getting to and from the house is a big concern. I'm kind of concerned about uh, the way uh, coming up coming the up. house and it's, going down. It's actually scary. We've been here two days. It was awesome. We loved it. Great experience. So it was great. Which home do you think is the one we need to probably eliminate or, or Let's mention them first. Let's start with the marina view. Okay. House. The one with the marina. Yes. The big house over the budget. It was, uh, first of all, it was over budget. Second of all, I think it was way bigger the, than what we needed for. True, true. Due to the villa by the marina being way over budget, Nick and Elena have eliminated this from consideration. Now they need to select between the beachfront home or the panoramic sea view home. The one by the beach, it's a brand new home. It's modern. It's modern. The panoramic view was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that. Imagine, you know, cafe daki, wine, right there. Yes. Beautiful. But the road. That's an issue. Scary. And how I drive, forget it. Right. Yes, one thing which is my main concern is that road. At the daytime, it might be easier, but at nighttime, and if the weather is not good and you have rain or snow, we're going to have a problem. We need to decide which one of the two. Mm -hmm. So, let's make a decision. So. Okay, one, two, three. The one by the beach. Say it! That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. The one by okay. the beach. Yay! <laughs> Official. Nick and Elena selected the beachfront home located in Canatadica, which features direct access to the beach, a modern layout, and a price below their budget. <music> Hellenic home hunting was a positive experience for this couple. Join us next time for another Greek home hunting adventure.